Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim and welcome back. So we are starting the character of the night in prologue to the Canterbury Tales. So night is the first character chosen by Geoffrey Chaucer and probably for the reason because night was the worthiest man of them all. So he starts with the character of a knight. So knight mounted man at arms of medieval Europe who served a king or other feudal superior usually in return for the tenure of a tract of land but sometimes for prey as a mercenary. The knight was generally a man of noble birth who had served in the lower ranks as page and squire before being ceremoniously introduced into knighthood by his superior. At his induction, the knight usually swore to be brave, loyal and courteous and to protect the defenseless. After the 15th century, knighthood was conferred on civilians as a reward for public services. So, knighthood like uh, the title of sir that is given to the people in uh, among civilians, so that is also knighthood, but in earlier days knighthood was uh, highly a military title. So, those people were first pages, pages were, were simple soldiers and then there were squires. So, squires were those who were attached to a knight and they tended them and then came the knighthood. So, knight, uh, those knights uh, took oaths that they will uh, remain brave and loyal and courteous and they will be taking care of the innocent people. So, now this is uh, uh, the beginning what he talks about the knight. Here he says that there was a knight who was a worthy, brave and excellent man. He loved warfare, truth, honor, freedom and courtesy since he first traveled abroad. He was the best in his lord's military campaigns. He rode and fought further than further than any other person both in Christendom as in heathen lands and was always honored for his worthiness and courage. So, there was a night that since the beginning of his uh, career he wanted to go away to the far off lands and he wanted to fight there. He loved chivalry. So, since beginning he loved warfare and apart from warfare, he loved truth, honor, freedom and courtesy. And in his lord or king's wars, he was full worthy person. And uh, wherever he had gone, no other knight could go. So, this knight had gone to remote areas. He fought in Christian areas. He fought in non-believers areas. And all the time, he was given a prize. So, he was knight in every place. He was in the whole world. He was in freedom, truth, truth, honor, courtesy, ye cheeze bhoot pasand thi. Toh is ne har jaga pe apna loha manwaya. So in these lines, Chaucer says that this knight was at Alexandria when it was conquered. Often he presided over all nations in many international conferences in Prussia. In Lithuania and Russia, he raised his military expeditions and fought against heathens, means non-believers. No other Christian knight could stand equal to his bravery and status. He was also present at Granada at the siege of Al Jazi near Gibraltar and also advanced towards Ben Marin that is in North Africa. He was seen at Lais that is called Armenia and Atlas that is Asia Minor when they were conquered. He also participated in crusades that were fought on a religious basis around the Mediterranean Sea. So, he was not only fighting on the land but also in the sea and not only he was a mercenary but also fighting for religion and uh, fighting for his king. So, all these areas that mentioned that for this reason that this knight had fought all over the world. So, this is not only one or two places, but he was fighting in the whole world. So, he took part in 15 deadly battles for Christian's faith in Tremesen, that is in Algeria. In head-to-head, -head, like one-to-one -one combat, he thrice killed his enemy. This very night had also been sometimes with the lord of Palatia, that is known as Anatolia, 
and fought against another heathen in Turkey, means non-believer. He always claimed the superb recognition for his bravery. Though he was a worthy and brave person, he was wise. In his behavior, he was gentle as a virgin lady. In his life, he never used abusive language for any person, no matter who he was. He was indeed a perfect and gentle knight. So, here we are told about certain more areas. So, these lines signify the famous battles that he won against all the nations and the participation of this knight in every battle shows that he was one of the best soldiers of England. He not only participated in wars but also presided over conferences and uh, they also it is told to us that he fought in those battles in which he could easily be defeated but it was his bravery that brought success to England and to this knight. And more qualities uh, come through these lines to us about the knight that this knight fought 15 battles which were fatal but due to his bravery the country won and this thing stresses upon the best military strategy adopted by England and the loyalty of the knight. So, it was due to the loyalty of the knights that England kept winning all the times. This knight also won one to one combats and killed his enemy. So, you must be knowing that in olden days a uh, one to one combat could decide the future of the whole war. So, he uh, thrice he won such wars and uh, he always won the best military awards for his services. So, he was always like sovereign prize means the best military award ever. So, all the time the king himself uh, awarded him with the best prize. And then Joseph tells us about uh, the character of this person. So, he says that though this knight was the best soldier and the best hero of wars, yet he was humble. This thing reflects his uh, pious nature that he was never proud. Despite uh, his status, he was courteous. He never spoke ill against any person of any status. So, this tells us something very good about this night that uh, and we are like now convinced that Joseph is uh, right to start with the night. So, this night was not only uh, the bold and uh, a loyal brave knight but also he was humble. Despite he was uh, uh, presiding over the conferences and fighting all over and receiving a sovereign prize from the king, uh, king's personal self, still he was a humble person and he never was proud, he never used such language. So, kabhi bhi isne gharoor nahi kiya, isne jange bhi jiti, isne apne dushmano ko mara bhi, isne apne mulk ko fatah bhi di, isne apne mulk ke liye bohut sare logo ko मौत के घाट उतारा अपने मुल्क को जिताया और उसमें जो बादशाह था उसके हाथों से इसने जो सबसे बड़ा एजाज थे उस जगह के वो कई दफा रिसीव किए लेकिन इन सब बातों के बावजूद हमें इस नाइट के बारे में ये बताया जाता है कि वो बिल्कुल भी उसके अंदर غرور नहीं था वो बड़ा हंबल सा था और उसने अपनी लाइफ में कभी भी किसी से गलत जुबान इस्तेमाल नहीं की कभी किसी के सामने غرور की जुबान इस्तेमाल नहीं की तो वो बहुत ही in the high perfect or gentle kism ka night tha. Now, to Joseph tells about his condition, his dresses. So, here he says that, uh, but to inform you about his dressing and equipment, his horse was good, but not over decorated. The knight wore a short waistcoat under an iron jacket. He had just returned from a voyage after a war and now he was going for pilgrimage. So, this knight seems to be one of those people whom success makes more humble than before. His lifestyle was totally different. We find simplicity in his outlook. Neither he himself was brightly dressed nor was his horse. His appearance is entirely different from the rest of the characters, especially the corrupt ones. His love for the religion is above obvious uh, from this fact that he has just returned from the wars. But despite taking rest, he was willing to go on pilgrimage in the same dress, in the same war dress uh, in which he was having his all armor with him. So, this comes with certain more qualities of the knight. In those days, having decorated horse was uh, 
a glorious thing for the knights and soldiers. But this knight was too simple uh, that uh, he did not have a decorated horse, rather his horse was simple. It was good, it was a strong horse, the way it should have been, but it was not over decorated. So, इस नाइट की हमें क्वालिटीज पता चलती हैं कि नाइट दुनिया में जाके लड़ा इसने पूरी दुनिया की कॉन्फ्रेंसेस को प्रिजाइड किया से अटेंड नहीं किया प्रिजाइड किया और फिर इसने सॉवरेन के हाथों से प्राइजेस लिए लेकिन इन सब के बावजूद अभी अभी वो एक लड़ाई करके समुद्री सफर से वापस आया था और समुद्री सफर उस जमाने में इंतहाई थका देने वाले होते थे तो ये उन सफरों से अभी अभी वापस आया था अभी इसने कपड़े भी नहीं चेंज किए थे कि इसको पता चला कि ग्रुप है काफला जो जा रहे हैं कंट्रीब्री की तरफ तो उसको इतना शौक था इतना वो रिलीजियसली डिवोटेड था कि वो फौरन तैयार हो गया कैंटरबरी जाने के लिए सो दिस इज अबाउट द नाइट आई होप आपको ये समझ आ गया होगा थैंक यू वेरी मच नाउ नेक्स्ट वीडियो इज अबाउट द स्क्वायर